Hello, homies. Welcome to uh, Versus Mika. It's going to be a quick and simple workshop. Real Mika, Psycho Mika, and uh, Rashido. Oh, I'm just Mika that doesn't want to learn the game. That's, that's a good <laughs> Mika. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's up, Rami? What's up, Rami? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So uh, in case some of you don't know, I, uh, I am still a Mika main, although now I'm maining Yurian. But I mained Mika for enough time that I can tell you how to beat her. And also... Um, Wh what all Mika have as common strats. All Mikas do this. Yeah, I'm working. Thanks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mika and I'm going to give you uh, Rashido. Okay. And uh, we can go from there. So, all Mika players follow the exact same patterns. I'm not sure why. They shouldn't, but they do. And... Uh, Where's Rashido on screen? He's right there. Right next to Mika. Oh, yeah. What Neighbors. color do you want? You want the red one? Uh, any color is good. Oh, give me the pink one. Oh, uh, yeah. This oh, one? Yeah. Pink or purple? Pink. All right. This one. Here we go. Okay. Pink Rashido. So all Mikas follow the exact same pattern on defense and on offense. So they're, they're what's the that pattern? Okay. There's two patterns. So let's start with when Mika is on offense. So Mika offense involves uh, this button. So they're going to knock you down with a brimstone. And once you get E to brimstone, you can't tech. You can only do, um, you can either do a straight tech or a, hang on, let me put you on, uh, there we go. So come out of the corner. Okay, so once Mika catches you with a brimstone, obviously there's only two options. Stay down or tech, right? Yeah. And all Mikas will do one button, which is dash, medium punch. Well, oh, assuming they do it right. There. Yeah. Why is dash medium punch? Because it's the easiest, fastest, brain dead meaty ever. You can't beat it. There's nothing you can do to beat standing medium punch. So, when Mika e knocks you down with a brimstone, what do you do? Don't press a button. And this is the easy part. Eat the grabs over and over and over again. Every brimstone is only that much damage. And if I look at the damage and I pull it out for you, the... Every brimstone is 130. The EX brimstone will be like 180. 180 okay. That's it. So eat the grabs. She'll grab you once. And then she'll dash in the corner and she'll grab you again. And then she'll dash and she'll grab you again. And then eventually she'll do this. And the moment that button happens, you need to be ready to press a medium punch. Exactly. So all Mikas, they say they're not stupid enough, but all Mikas do this into this. All of them. And that's, so this is minus two, and then if you mash your medium, I eat a counter hit. Right. So every character against Mika, the first thing you need to know is if you're a five frame medium character, learn your five frame medium confirm. And if you're a four frame uh, light and a six frame medium character, learn your four frame confirm. Yurian uh, does uh, crouching light punch into crouching medium punch and then whatever. Right. Uh, Ken is back medium punch. Yeah. You do dash, standing medium punch. This? Minus two. Minus two. Even if it's meaty? Even if it's meaty. You're always, always, always minus two on that button. You're never going to be plus. So this into this, you always make sure to interrupt. So good Mikals will start to do this into this. No, no, we're giving the workshop. So good Mikas will start to do this into this, right? And they'll try to catch you if you press a button. But most Mikals will do this into this and eat a counter hit. Right. So the reason they won't do dash jab is because dash jab has to be manually timed. So how much is dash jab? Like dash jab, jab is plus two. Plus two? But it has to be manually timed. So if I do a brimstone, uh, move back to the middle of the screen. If I do a brimstone and then I try to dash jab and time it, we might trade because I have to delay it a slight bit for it to land medium. Unless I like mash it then, maybe I'll get it. So most people won't do dash jab, they'll do dash this. So that's strat one, eat the grabs. Eat the grabs, eat the grabs, eat the grabs. And then when he does the medium punch, that's your escape. Right. So always watch for the medium. Strat number two, this, this is an amazing grab. She has no media afterwards. I can't do anything. If I dash and press a button, you're always gonna win. Even if I jump at you. If I jump at you and press a button, you can DP me. So everyone assumes because everything else is a meaty, this is a meaty. It's not a meaty. Right. There is no meaty off the EX um, um, giant swing. Okay, basic strat number one is B 
beat that medium. Next, every character can beat this with a jab. You don't even have to time it, just mash. Just mash jabs, mash like crazy, just mash, 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 mash. mash. You'll beat me. So if you, s well, unless <laughs> you really fuck it up. So if you're fighting Mika and you're worried, throw out a jab when she comes at you. You're always gonna beat her. Worst case, they'll, they'll do like the slow, oh, nice. Worst case, they'll do a, a little bit of a charge and just do this, and you'll whiff, and you're safe, and everyone's happy. So how much is that on block? This is plus four. Okay. Uh, isn't it plus three? Whatever. Three or four. It doesn't matter. It's plus oh. enough that you win. What about the one that you don't charge? This one is not plus. It's negative. Negative how? I think it's negative three or negative four or something. Negative four. Okay. So everyone gets a punish. But most Mika players won't do that up close. They'll do it from a little bit far. So they've got enough range. Okay. They throw it out at the end of a string to beat a button to get a crush counter. Kind of like Rashid's dolphin kick. Right. So it'll be like the, 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 this, and then try to beat a button. Okay, so you can punish that. Yeah. So then some characters, Chan, Rashid, Laura, uh, Mika herself, maybe one or two others, when there's this, they can low profile into a full punch. If you're fast, practice that. Practice, 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 you get it right. Yeah. Okay, the range you want to fight Mika at is either here, where she's got nothing, because this will whip, or it's inside of her crouching fierce punch range because you can punish. Yeah. You don't want to be at the edge of Crouching Fierce Punch. If you're at the edge of Crouching Fierce Punch, like right around here, you're going to be eating Crouching Fierce Punch mix-ups or Dropkick mix-ups, both of which are bad. You're also in range for this. And you're also in range for this. So she's got one range, which is the sweet spot where all four options exist. Okay. Mika players are going to come in with one of four options. It's going to be Shoulder Charge, it's going to be Dropkick, it's going to be Dash, or it's going to be Jump. So what you want to do is you want to be at a range where only two of our options exist. Here, drop kick whips, jump will hit, um, this will whip, and dash will whip. So that's a good range versus Mika, right out of all those. And nice. here, crouching f fierce is um, too close, so you win. So if I, we both do it and I mash, you win and you get a count hit. So that's also a good range. It's also good because drop kick is really slow, and uh, if she's charging a drop kick up close, you can just press a button and hit her out of it. From that range, she does have two options left, which is jump, and it's the cross-up jump. Yeah. And she has dash, obviously. And then, of course, you're playing footsies. But Mika's footsies are not that good. Really, when people are far, they'll do this, which is good get-in button. Or they'll do this, and they'll try to confirm, you know, um, that off of a karate chop. So that's the, that's the sweet spot. It's this range here is the sweet spot, and this range here is the sweet spot. Yes. Okay. So now... Put me on defense. And knock me down. Oh, whoops. Do it again. Mika option number one. All Mikas do standing tech, like the straight tech, yeah. into crouching jab. All of them. Do it again. Get your meaty right. There you go. The first thing you do against any Mika when you knock her down is you get the meaty for the quick recovery. All Mikas will start with quick recovery jab. All Mikas. No exceptions, no exceptions, no exceptions. If you want to beat a Mika player, you meaty them on the first wake up and maybe even the second wake up. The other option that Mika players will do once you've meated them enough, go ahead, is they'll do back tech into this. And so that's when you should realize. So once you've meated her twice or three times, you'll know that if he's a good Mika, he'll adapt back tech into clap. But you can't confirm the clap. So, uh, knock me down, go back tech, and mash a clap. You want to block that clap. No, you just block it. You want to block the clap. Just dash in and block. And then you get, like, way better than that. It's minus 22. You get the sexiest, biggest punish you have. So, remember, when Mika's on defense, there are only two options. It's crouching jab, or back tech into clap. The reason I say that is because this move is only armor invincible on frame three and only upper body. Right, so, so you can just meet it. You can always meet it. So do the, the juggle. Meaty. And I ate a giant combo. In fact, certain characters can meet you with a low, and they'll even beat it even after the third or fourth frame because it's only armor invincible from the top part of her body. Okay, so that's Mika on defense. Um, Let's say you knock Mika down and the Mika player is smart and decides to block. And they block your string. If they're crouching, 
you don't have to worry about anything. How come? Because on Crouch, Mika's best combo is this. Or this. And it does almost no damage. So if you just... Uh, so how minus is that? The butts is uh, enough that you can punch. But th it's easily confirmable, so they won't throw it out at you. But what I'm saying is, if you're standing, you'll eat this combo. Or you'll eat the... Yeah, which is 111. Or you'll eat the EX version. Oh, whoops. Um, sorry, sorry. Which is 151. Both of which are pretty low damage, right? Right. But the main thing is, if Mika's crouching, those are her only confirms. She doesn't have a confirm of this or this or this. She doesn't have anything. Unless she's got V-Trigger. But we'll get to that in a sec. So when Mika's crouching, you eliminate most of her good options. She, it'll be hard for her to sort of throw out a clap. It'll be hard for her to whiff punish. But really strong Mika players, when you knock them down, will walk backwards and clap. So go ahead and knock me down. And then throw your mix-ups out. So they'll walk backwards, and then they'll clap with punish. Right. That's what good Mikas will do. So in order to stop that, what do you do? Lows. You do lows to catch her walking back. And then she's back in the blender. But remember, at any time when you knock her down, he may decide to straight tech, crouching jab, standing jab, into the full combo. So when Mika starts walking backwards, re register it, catch him once for it, and then meet you the next time. So that's Mika on defense. If you get that down, you will destroy 95% of the Mikas out there. It'll only be the really good Mikas like Fudo, Knuckle Doo, you know, Luffy, all the good players. They're not dumb, they will register and they'll react. And so then it becomes a very nice three-way mix-up, like as always in this game, where back tech or regular tech or, or no tech, and then everyone gets their options. Okay. When Mika is um, at this range right here, if the Mika is good, he wants you to jump. If the Mika is standing at that range and just chilling out, they want you to jump. Why? Because they can do um, the headbutt, which is a sexy anti-air that just beats almost everything, or whoop, and then you're in Blender City. Right. So, if you're going to jump at Mika, make sure that you've shown the Mika that you're going to dash, you're going to, you know, you're going to poke with long pokes, you're going to come with something strong, so that eventually the Mika player is only watching for those things. And then eventually when you jump, they won't have enough time to catch you with this. But only if you show them that you have other options that are more advantageous for you and that are really bad for her. So a good Mika's, if they know you're going to do it, they'll just chill out here and they'll be like, Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, God? Oh my God. And then you're in the blender. And then you're dead. So don't give them that opportunity. Okay. When it comes to the corner mix-ups and the freaky shit that Mika does with her blender, right? So, let's assume Mika catches you with, you know, this, 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 and then there's the dash under mix-up or not, right? Yeah. Activate your V-trigger when you land. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Huh. Sucks for Rashid. Mine is like 26 frames, that's why. So almost any character with like a strong V-trigger, like Yurian's um, Aegis Reflector, or um, Mika herself, her best friend, any of those types that leave an object on screen can usually beat with like very safely. Okay. You don't have to worry. Um, if, if you don't know, if you don't have a good V-trigger, sorry, Right. You're screwed. You just gotta guess. Yeah. It sucks, but that's how Mika's built. So when that the key then is to never get blocked look pulled into one of those mix-ups. And you don't get pulled into those mix-ups if you don't eat a clap. Most of her flip mix-ups involve a clap. There are very few that don't. One of them is let's say she does um that. That at the oh wait. Okay, there we go, yeah. So let's say she knocks you down with uh, EX clothesline. The knuckle do is this into this. But for that to happen, you have to quick tech. And then you got to guess. Right. And that's the backwards mix up? That, that's a cross up, by the that's way. That's the cross up. Yeah. For the non cross up version, it looks like this. And it's a lot of damage. Yeah. So in those situations, when Mika knocks you down, do not. Quick tech. Fall, wait it out. Most of the time, when they do this, they'll activate right away 
and then flip, and then flip, and nothing's happened. So, if the Mika is good, they'll do this. They'll be like, uh, super long one. Uh, and then maybe some mix up that right. But most of them will not do that. Okay, next is the, the ghetto mix up of this. This is the ghetto mix up. So, on block, Mikas will do this and activate and then do a flip. Or, th oh, whoops. or they'll do this and activate and they'll do the other flip. Right? Right. In all of those situations, if it's the immediate activate, V trigger will win every, V reversal will win every time. So if you see this, V reversal, and you're out. Rashid unfortunately has a shitty V reversal, but. That's good enough. But most Mikas will try to do like this, right? Or they'll try to do this into this. So you'll eat it, they'll do a chop, and then you're out. The only time you should start worrying is when the Mika player starts doing the long one. Because if you V, they will catch you. But most Mikas won't do that. It's a sacrifice of like a mix up. This is like the, the scrub Mikas will all do one hit and then they'll do like the activate. So whenever you see this and it's one hit and quick, V. And then you're out. And then Mika has lost her V and she's full screen and she's screwed. Okay. Um, a lot of Mika players like to abuse this. Minus two. It's got a giant box, but it's minus two. So block it and then you, you can punish with the medium. Do not try to press a jab afterwards, I will win. When you see this, you got a medium with a long medium. Or yeah, fierce. Well, because Rashid has a, is six frames? Nine. Right? Nine. Nine, okay. So then it's seven, and then seven, you win because we're the same frame. Um, but other characters have like a strong medium like Urian's. Standing medium punch, six, you can just beat it just with that. But beware, because they'll do the neutral version sometimes. So always go with a long range, a long range medium or fierce. Block and then a long range button. There you go. Okay, everyone knows this already. In case you don't, that's like minus 14 or something. Do a crazy punish. Okay, go ahead. It doesn't matter what the range is. If I'm here at the tip, you still get it. People assume it, it's like meaty and the tip or whenever you're safe. No, if I, even if I hit you with like the tippiest tip, I'm still eating the combo. It's still minus 14 or 12 or whatever it is. So always, always, always punish. Um, this. Shooting Peach is three hits on, on hit, so walk forwards. But on block, it's only two. But it's minus ten. So give me a big punish. But it's on the second hit on block, not the third. There is no third hit on block. A lot of people, they're like, oh no, and they twitch. Yeah. Second hit. Okay. Um, last thing. The clap is minus twenty something frames. This? This is minus 20 something. What's your slowest move? Dolphin kick? Minus how much? Like minus 20. Oh, my, my slowest move is standing roundhouse. Do, how, how slow is that? 12? 16. 16. Do it. It hits. Just so you know, this move is minus 20 or something like that. It's, it's not even written in the frame data, I think. So always remember, your slowest punish will always catch her on a blocked path. Okay, I think that's everything. Are there any questions? No, nope, no questions for me, man. Thank All you right. very much. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, back you. to you, Jimmy.